Today we're making Frosty the Snowman. Psych! We're making three snowman monsters. Smiley, Reuben, and Anti-Venom. I did Anti-Venom because I like Venom. Hi everyone, my name is Halle Berry. Let's get started. So I love snowman cakes. I've already created one for this channel and I wanted to create another one which is why I decided to make this Too Faced Snowman. Now for this I'm using my PVC pipe stand. If you want an in-depth look at how I created this cake, there's links for you in the description box and there's a video for my PVC pipe system on my channel. But to create this cake, I am using a whole bunch of half dome cakes. The first is four inches. The middle layer is made up of three inch half dome cakes and then the top layer is made up of six inch half dome cakes. Um, we got a lot of funfetti because I like it and I've been dyeing it blue because I think it looks really pretty blue. After I added all three of my cakes, I gave my deceptive Too Faced cake a crumb coat. Pretty simple, there's not too much carving, just a little bit to create anti-venom. I had to cut a sliver of cake just so that I can create his face, the or the inside of his mouth because his mouth is wide open. Now I wanted the back and the front of this cake to have very different textures. So for the monster side of this, I'm going to cover each of my cakes with white fondant. So anti-venom, we got him covered with a really nice layer of white fondant. And I wanted his mouth to be just a little bit darker. So I've got this very pale grayish pink on the inside. There's a lot of white going on and I wanted to make sure you could tell the difference between the inside of his mouth and his teeth. Now, because this is a snowman, I'm going to be using a very light blue fondant to create his gums, as opposed to pink. Then I made a huge hole so that I can add a very blue venom tongue. That was my favorite part. I had to let this set probably for like four hours so that the fondant piece would hold. Add CMC, let it set, and then you're good. I'm adding a lot of texture to the side of his mouth as well as his eyes to get that venom look. And I'm gonna complete all of my monster looks later when I start to paint them. Now for the middle monster, Ruben. So I'm covering the middle cake with white fondant and I decided that his smile should be made up of different sized teeth. Some of them are close together, some of them are far apart. I, I really wanted like a smile that a dentist would just be shocked at if they ever saw it. I wouldn't eat any of the carrots that are on these monsters noses. They're just so disgusting. They look like they've been sitting in your fridge forever. Now I'm adding indentations to create his eyes and then I moved on to my last snowman head, Smiley. Usually when you're covering sphere cake it's really hard to cover it with fondant. There's a lot of puckering at the bottom and then there's a lot of just like crying into your hands because you don't know how to fix it. <laughs> but because I was only covering one side it was fine. I decided to make him smiley because I really like how demented his smile is. I kind of imagined like this is what happens when all the coal you place on the snowman falls out. You still have these like craters created by the coal but there's nothing there. Now I'm adding a lot of wrinkles. Scary monsters have a lot of wrinkles to me. And the thing that I really wanted to make sure is that I gave him human eyes. You know, when you see a snowman, you automatically want to see eyes made out of coal. So it's kind of disorienting when you actually have like human-like features on something that's not human. Like have you ever seen those dogs that are photoshopped with human eyes? Uh-uh, don't Google that. <laughs> then it was time to start on the deceptive frosty side. So these three monsters stack themselves on top of each other and pretend that they are Frosty the Snowman. They take Frosty's hat and they place it right next to them so that children will come up and try to put the hat on Frosty, thinking that it'll come to life, but it doesn't because these three unstack themselves and then they eat the kids. 
<laughs> I say it like so like nonchalantly. They just eat the kids. But it's true, that's what happens. Now for the frosty side, I decided to cover it with buttercream. I wanted this to have a lot of texture, so when I added the buttercream, I didn't really make it too smooth because I knew that there was gonna be another layer of texture in the form of coconut shavings. Yeah, don't worry about smoothing this out too much because the coconut's gonna add a lot of snow-like texture. Now, if you've seen my previous snowman video, I did the exact same thing. Just covered the entire cake with coconut shavings. You don't have to cover it with coconut shavings. There are like edible sprinkles you can use, white sprinkles, or you can just do with buttercream. That's good too. The only hard thing is that you have to brush away all of the excess coconut shavings. They can get all over the place too. Sometimes you're just walking around your house and you step on a coconut shaving you thought you swept up last week. <laughs> oh, that's why I got a Dyson vacuum <laughs> because that kept happening. <laughs> Now I'm going to add all of the generic snowman features. We got some fondant coal buttons, a fondant coal smile, and a really nice looking carrot. This is the carrot you want to eat. A perfect cone carrot, and then two eyes made of coal. Look at that. Oh snowman, you're looking cute. But you're not real, you're just a disguise. Now I'm gonna start working on my monsters. So I'm going to start with the bottom monster first and work my way up. And the bottom monster is Anti-Venom. Now this is just supposed to be Venom, but because Anti-Venom is white, I'm going to just call it Anti-Venom. I didn't want to add too much detail, so I didn't add a lot of black. I'm just highlighting so it separates the eyes from the rest of the fondant. You see a little bit of highlighting of the gum line. And then I added a really dark red just because I wanted it to look like blood. Look at that, and that tongue? Oh, it used to be this really nice blue and now it's this disgusting gray. <laughs> when I knew that I was making three different snowman heads, I was like, Venom is perfect for this. I love the Venom cake that I created and so I'm just using all of those techniques on this bottom layer of the snowman. Once I was happy with my Venom snowman, I started to move on to Reuben. Now I'm just working with very diluted food coloring to create each of my snowmen. I didn't want to add too much color because I didn't want to take away from the fact that it's white. I still wanted these monsters to be white as snow, but just a little bit like dirty, like they rolled around in the mud for a little bit. Oh, this is my favorite part, adding all of the eyes and then highlighting them. The six eyes is so creepy. It's like a spider. Oh wow, and they're red. Oh, I like that. I like the yellow that highlights each eye as well. Now we're gonna dirty up this ugly carrot because why? Just because. And then we're gonna move on to my final monster, Smiley. He's the head of the whole operation. Get it? Cause he is the head. <laughs> Now I am adding a lot of more dark colors to the inside of his mouth, just so that the inside of his smile looks deep. Then I'm highlighting the white with a little bit of like diluted navy blue, and then I'm adding a little bit of pink to make it look more human. But his eyes, I wanted him to have like cat eyes, so we got like this black stripe. Now all of these three monsters just feasted on a whole bunch of kids which is why their mouth is like dripping with blood. And the way that they caught these kids was by making the deceptive snowman on the other side look super cute. And the way I did that was by adding two catch lights to create his eyes. And then I added a little bit of highlight with blue just so that they would sparkle more and then two more catch lights. Just to emphasize the cuteness. It doesn't he look so cute. <laughs> now we have fondant arms going on um, and because it's Christmas I'm adding red and green so we got a red scarf and some green earmuffs. Once I added that my snowman cake was complete. I know it's Christmas y'all some of y'all don't want like scary cakes, but I do. And I'm finding that the scarier versions of the cakes are cuter to me than the kawaii versions that I'm creating. I don't know, I just think they look so much better. 
Now I'm curious, which one of my snowman monsters do you like the best? Do you like Smiley, Ruben, or Anti-Venom? It's like a toss up. I mean, Ruben is all right, but he's like middle, I don't know, forgettable kind of to me. <laughs> I like Smiley and I like the Venom. I don't, I, uh, maybe Smiley just a little bit more than Venom, but both of them are really cool. Now I am finishing my holiday content, but I am not done with this cute and scary thing. So let me know in the comments what kind of characters you'd like to see two different versions of. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a happy holiday. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!